Hi everyone, this is Malika Chopra. I am actually recording this in my car. Uh, just dropped my kids off to school and I'm sure like many other parents who had to drop their kids at school today um, did so with a heavy heart uh, thinking about what happened last Friday uh, in Newtown, Connecticut. Um, my family, like many others, uh, talked about this cried, struggled together to come to terms um, with what happened and probably didn't come up with many answers. Uh, my daughters are different um, in age and how they respond to things. So Tara, um, my elder daughter who's 11, um, seemed to get it. Uh, she looked at some of the photos with me. We talked about the principal, the psychologist, a bunch of the children and teachers. Uh, who passed away in this tragedy and um, we held each other and we cried and um, we tried to come to terms and probably didn't um, with what's going on. Leela, my younger one, is eight um, and for her, uh, I talked to her differently um, and uh, tried to assure her that she was safe. In fact, um, Leela's first question was, Mommy, where did it happen? Was it close to us? Are we safe at school? Um, so she was really kind of tr struggling with that and actually on Saturday night um, sobbed herself to sleep which I was kind of surprised um, and what she did is um, she was actually mixing up what happened in uh, Newtown with um, a friend who's um, unwell right now and so she just like all this emotion came up and it was just very at her core. Um, so I think families throughout the country, throughout the world, are wondering um, how to deal with this. I wish I had answers. I don't. I know many people turn to spiritual advisors or teachers, um, psychologists, um, which I think is really important. There's some great articles which um, I've seen online um, on the news outlets. I know when I called my dad on Friday, uh, my dad is Deepak Chopra, when I called my dad on Friday and asked him, you know, what, how do I talk to the kids? Um, he too was almost at a loss for words because this is such a tragedy and it's really hard to explain. Um, I think no matter where people are on the political spectrum, um, everyone agrees that what happened uh, was tragic and really has um, no answer uh, to why it happened. Um, but I think I feel strongly that we have to address, obviously, um, access to guns, um, gun control. Um, it does seem that uh, the mother of uh, the guy who did this actually um, legally had these guns, so that brings up other issues um, which are much more complicated um, than uh, license and access to guns. Um, in addition, though, I think that we have to address mental illness and um, as anyone else who has someone in their family or a close friend uh, who has dealt with men mental illness, we know that this is not um, a simple, easy issue to address. Um, so we come together as a community. Um, I just felt like I had to share. I'm literally here in my car um, just feeling kind of heavy and sad um, about what happened. So would love to just uh, feel connected to people today um, and continue the conversation so that we can all heal together. Thanks. Bye.